a very good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this edition of the Garrett Sports Report. It is Sunday night, April 2nd, 2011. April 3rd, I am sorry. And uh, we have a lot to get to today. MLB concludes its opening weekend of the 2011 season. Rangers hold on to a slim 8th place lead in the NHL's Eastern Conference. And the Knicks finally beat the Cavaliers. But first... We'll talk with uh, talk about baseball, and obviously the Yankees concluding a three-game set against the Detroit Tigers today. Well, it wasn't a pretty finale as the Detroit Tigers win it 10-7. to Max Scherzer for Detroit gets the win, and Phil Hughes, who gets the loss, uh, goes to 0-1. He gave up two big bombs to Miguel Cabrera, who was sober during the game, by the way. Uh, it gives up a couple of bombs to... Cabrera, and on the Yankee side, Posada, Jorge Posada, getting home runs number one and two for 2011. Mark Teixeira continues his strong outing, strong start, hitting another homer, and Robinson Cano also hits a solo shot. Now, the thing with the Yankees' rotation is once you get past Phil, A.J. Burnett, who had a stellar performance yesterday, as did C.C. Sabathia, well, that's debatable, Sabathia had an okay start against the Tigers on opening day. It was Joppa Chamberlain who really sealed the deal for them. And Mariano nailing down his 560th and 561st over the weekend. Um, thing with Phil Hughes is this. It starts really the back end of the rotation. A rotation that has Phil Hughes, who is on and off as a starter, let's be honest. Uh, a guy in Ivan Nova who seems to only last five innings. And then you really have to hand it off to the bullpen. And, of course, Freddy Garcia who is getting older in age. He did not have a stellar spring, but we'll see what happens uh, as the season progresses. Obviously, tomorrow is a big start for Ivan Nova against the Twins as Minnesota comes in for a three-game set. Now, moving on to the Mets. Actually, it starts Tuesday, that three-game set. Now, moving on to the Mets, who had a very big series finale, opening series finale, versus the Florida Marlins, winning 9-2. to R.A. Dickey getting the win, and... Former Yankee Javi Vasquez, who only lasted two and a third, by the way, against these Mets, uh, he takes the loss. Now, once again, once you get past Pelfrey, uh, I'm not sure we even started here last night, to be honest with you, but it's another question mark for the Mets. You know, that back end of the rotation, we're not sure how they're going to do. I think R.A. Dickey may end up becoming the temporary ace of the staff unless it's really revealed that Johan Santana can't go any further. Now, as far as power for the Mets, Willie Harris had a two-run shot, and Ike Davis also hit a solo, and they got RBIs from Angel Pagan and Daniel Murphy and, and a couple of other guys, so very big day for the Mets down in South Beach. And finally, let's quickly wrap up the rest of the league. Uh, that's important to the New York teams. Uh, Boston gets swept by Texas, and Tampa gets swept by the Baltimore Orioles, who are surprisingly off to a 3-0 start. And you know, they really are carrying the momentum Buck Showalter had them at uh, going into the offseason, if you will. And they're really continuing. They bolstered the roster and, 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 and the lineup. Ro Brian Roberts seems healthy. So overall, it leads to a Baltimore sweep over the weekend. Texas also sweeps Boston. And in the National League, the Phillies do sweep the Astros at Citizens Bank Park. While well, Atlanta takes two against the Washington Nationals in the weekend's opening series. And for more scores uh, in the Major League Baseball, stay tuned to MLB.com. And obviously, we'll probably go more in depth. We have a lot to cover tomorrow afternoon at 5 p.m. on WQMCRadio.com. But stay tuned for that as uh, we'll probably get into the start of MLB, but obviously the NCAA Final Four, which we'll get to in just a couple of minutes here on the Garrett Sports Report. Now, the Knicks finally do beat the Cavaliers tonight. Uh, it, it took a while, but they do beat them at the Garden. I think 123-107 was the final, while the new Nets lose to the Miami Heat. But overall, the Knicks still very much so in the playoffs. They just have to build up a few wins here and there. And speaking of just barely in the playoffs, having a slim lead over the Carolina Hurricanes, that would be the New York Rangers. And you know, Last year, their season ended in a shootout against the Philadelphia Flyers. And, of course, we all know the Flyers went to the Stanley Cup Finals and lost to the Blackhawks. 
But the point is today, the Rangers sort of exacted their revenge on the Flyers, winning in the shootout. And as I mentioned, they hold a slim 8th place seed in the Eastern Conference. They, they hold that seed, but by a very slim margin. And finally, let's talk about the NCAA Final Four. Yesterday, it was Butler taking out the upset alert VCU, Virginia Commonwealth University. And it was also UConn taking out Kentucky last night in Houston. So, Brad Stevens' Butler University will take on Jim Calhoun and Kemba Walker and the UConn Huskies. And should be quite a matchup tomorrow night, NCAA Championship and the March Madness. It really was a mad tournament, really crazy tournament, if you will. It comes to an end tomorrow night. And, and you know, for all the talk about all, most all the seeds in the Big East were eliminated, 10 of them, for the one, they could end up being the champions. Now, finally, let's talk about some Queens College Athletics, shall we? As the Knights baseball and softball had semi-tough weekends, mostly tough weekends, and uh, men's tennis really did dominate over the weekend, but we'll talk about first uh, softball because they're doing all right, but they do get swept last night by Dowling yesterday afternoon at Queens College. Uh, it was a tough matchup, but Dowling is one of the toughest in the ECC. But uh, as I said yesterday, I, th I still think the Knights are going places this spring. And one team who, who is struggling and now it's starting to become like a very injured team as Rob Bernardo is now out. Um, overall, it's been... A tough few games against Malloy College, and the Knights do end up losing this doubleheader today against Malloy at Queens College at Ray Metzke Field. And, you know, hopefully in the next couple of weeks, once we get a flip camera, I'll be interviewing coaches and players after the games. But for now, you just have to deal with me trying to break down the Knights' struggles. And, and, and you know, the pitching was struggling this weekend. The hitting was not there, but, but mainly the injuries will be a factor, and it already is if you look at it from that point of view. So we'll see what happens. Now, while baseball and softball were hosting games this weekend, softball yesterday, baseball today, it was men's tennis all over their opponents as they beat Hunter University yesterday 9 to nothing. and I'm not sure who they played today, but I'm pretty sure they won as uh, they, they are going places this spring. And so I think that pretty much wraps up my edition of the Garrett Sports Report. We'll see you next week here on my YouTube channel and on Facebook. And obviously, you can tune in tomorrow afternoon and every Monday, 5 to 6, for the Sports Hour with Alex Garrett and Karen Veer Singh at 5 p.m. Once again, WQMCRadio.com every Monday at 5 p.m. We'll see you tomorrow, folks. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving today I want to be a part of